Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3860 in Candy Crush Saga. If you find these videos helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would really help me out. So this is a hard level where we have 20 moves to clear out 138 jelly. It appears that every place that we have a square, we're gonna have double jelly. Even under this dark chocolate, the licorice locks, the licorice swirls, the licorice shell, that's all going to have two layers of jelly under it. This looks like it's going to be particularly difficult to get to because the licorice shell has to be hit three times and it's surrounded by dark chocolate licorice swirls, licorice locks, and these cutouts. I don't like that too much. But I think also the corners are going to be tough as well. And the board is probably going to flow strangely. We do have portals that'll drop down straight through, but then these might create some flow issues. I think I want to try to work on the chocolate as quickly as possible, clear out some space so I can get to this central area. But how can I take out that chocolate? This does not look like a good setup. Oh, and the orange basketballs, those are just orange candies, but uh, they're decorated for a special event going on since it's July of 2021 that I'm recording this. So what color should I remove? Well, blue if I could get to it, but I can't remove blue. What happens if I do this? It does slide down because the portal is blocked. So that's important information. Kind of a wasted move strategy wise on the board but I don't have anything grand to play and that gave me information that is helpful. Wow I need to get to this chocolate and I just can't. There we go. All right let's open up as much as we can. There that's beautiful. I'm going to make another stripe. I know I didn't hit this. I was hoping that cascading would help take care of it but at least I can shoot it over this way. There we go. Anything up here I can do? No. So I'm working against gravity and in a corner here. That's not pleasant. I like all these orange though. Should I try to put those together? Yeah, let's do this stripe. It's not going to go well through the licorice, but look at that. I can take out that licorice and then I can move it over and hit that uh, whatever that was, licorice lock. I can do this too, but what I really want are stripes that aim over here or wrapped candies. <gasps> okay, so here we go. We've got stripes on the top and the bottom. Oftentimes when I make a stripe go through, it'll hit the other stripe. That's not going to happen here because it'll get stopped by this. So let's do a bit of this. I maybe should have tried to get a blue here to make a color bomb. I just don't have a whole lot of turns to be able to set up those spectacular moves. If it doesn't happen organically on the board, it's going to be hard to duplicate it. And I really do think that we started with a bad setup and I made it worse by not making the, the best move for the board, but just making a move that would help me in the future to understand how that board operates. So pretty lousy results. That's okay. I don't mind. I think that this is one where it's going to be a learning curve and I'm going to get better and better with each turn, especially because I'm going to take a better look at each of my moves as I go. I do think some of them will end up miserably like this one where we don't get a good setup and the chocolate controls everything. But I think eventually if I employ some ideas of cutting down the different colors that are on the board, if there's not a lot of blue and I can take it out, I might concentrate the rest of the colors down to make some matches and specials. Focusing on the center so I can get that color bomb and focusing on the corners, seeing which one the board is going to allow me to attack first. Because I think if I can get one done, it'll help with the other. This corner especially I think is going to be difficult because we're going against gravity. I'm going to pause the recording and come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share.
So remember when I said that I thought I would get better and better? This is my second attempt, and already I feel a lot better about the chances that eventually this is going to work out for me. Yeah, I was still a little ways away, but it's showing a healthy progression. Wrapped candies, I've noticed, particularly helpful on this board. So if I could get a Color Bomb wrapped candy combo to help with the lower portion of the board or a Color Bomb striped candy combo to help all over, those are the types of things I'm going to be looking for. Again, I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'm going to leave this as instructive because I do think it shows a great deal of hope for the future. Okay, so things are going fairly well. A little bit of a problem. I'm concerned that I have too much blue stuff up here for this to help. It would help down here. This, I think, would fall too fast. These would fall too fast. It might be better to try to set up a green stripe. The problem is, if I make this move and bring the green stripe, everything could fall apart. I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm feeling dangerously bold. Aha! So now I have a choice between blue stripe or green stripe. At this point in time, I want to just count them up. Sometimes I look to see where things are aimed, and that wouldn't be bad, but I think counting might be more productive at this point in time because we've got a lot of areas that need to be hit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna skip this one. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 that would be converted into stripes. This one's already a stripe. And we would lose the benefit of this wrapped. Let's see about green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, we've got so many more and we don't lose any in the process, right? So we still have that blue stripe that comes and hits that, opens things up beautifully. Yikes, we have problems in here, but look what happened. I like this. So I've got three jelly left. One, two, three. I can take this, which sets up to take out one of these. We've got a lot of opportunities here. Let's go ahead and go for this, and then all I should have to do is take out purple and remove that one. With one move left, I probably could have tightened up that back end a little bit more, um, made the end game not quite so tricky, um, done it more efficiently. But I like the way I did it. I had enough moves, so I got it done. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. This took between 10 and 15 tries to finish up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.